Now this is just adorable. <laughs> yeah, I took a break, or like it's it's been a few days since I last recorded this. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this title screen, I guess. Maybe once I get to certain points, I'll show it up, show off the title screen a little bit more. Uh, that type of stuff. Uh, I will say there is one thing I do want to talk about real quick. Um, the title screen for this game, when I rebooted it, like, um, one time, you know, is I wanted to save, quit, uh, go get lunch and something, and then came back, um, Flowey was the only thing there, like, right there in the middle. So characters keep on getting added anytime you finish certain levels or finish their particular side quests, that type of stuff. And, uh, whenever you see Sans, um, he usually moves about this title screen, so keep that in mind if he's either not there or... Uh, once we get new friends, things happen, okay? I, I just want to point that out because that that's that that that's something that happens. But anyway, let's continue. Okay. Okay, right, good. We good? Sorry, I gotta move my mic mic somewhere else. Okay, good. Perfect. Huh, okay, let's see. Double checking. Okay. Okay, we've we're done with um being here like in Snowden. We dealt with Papyrus, we had a date with him, and now all we have to do is just keep moving forward to whatever's next. Ooh, something happening? Ooh. Oh, by the way, oh, keep an eye on that ice block. Yes, it's definitely important. Uh, nothing? Okay. I'm not sure why that happens. It could be just because. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, anyway. Um, is music happening for you guys, or is it just silent on my end? Okay, there we go. There's music end. Okay, maybe we're not technically done in Snowden, but we'll go to Waterfall, which is the next area. And I say that because sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yeah, look, Waterfall. This is, this is the next area, Waterfall. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, okay? Uh, if you're wondering what exactly it is he's talking about, um, he's talking about Undyne. I, I'm pretty sure he said that before, maybe. Okay, do you see this fish guy? Do you see this flower? He's going to tell people, he's going to tell you as soon as you talk to him that this flower repeats anything you say. So if you talk to him and then talk to that thing, it'll repeat what he says. But if you listen to the flower first, all that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. <laughs> so, um, never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. <laughs> uh, never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Uh, he, he'll go on about like explaining like the echo flower and saying like, oh, it repeats anything you say. And then the flower will repeat that. And he'll say, cool, huh? And then he'll like, go on. So if you listen to this first, it really tells you why he's here. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, anyway, let's uh, talk to Sans because eh, you'll see what I mean. What? Haven't seen what? Haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Ah, you lazy bur you lazy bones. I, I will agree. I will agree, though. I do I do have a particular soft spot for him, mainly because I want a job like that where I can do a good amount of work, people rely on me, but they know for a fact that I'm lazy. So there's that. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah, sure. Might as well. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Pretty sure it wouldn't be that much of a pry. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't need a crowbar in order to pry you away from it. But anyway, um... Yeah, so we'll get into the waterfall after I deal with this small little thing, okay? I, I, I will, I'm serious. I will be going to waterfall. Over here. I know a shortcut. And we're here. Fast shortcut, huh? Yeah, that's something Sans can do. Just shortcut people around. Or shortcuts, as he calls him. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Nice nickname. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? <laughs> I, 
I kind of forgot about that line actually because ironically I'm having breakfast now. I'm cooking a uh, croissant sandwich in the microwave. I think it's done, but I'll get it in a minute. No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. I never understood what brunch was as a kid or as an adult growing up, but I realized what it is. It's breakfast, lunch. It's, it's like in between the times between breakfast and lunch, you can have brunch and people will say like, okay, that's fine. It's like, ooh, I think we missed breakfast. Hmm, how does brunch sound? Ah. <laughs> so, like, usually I'm sort of stuck onto that se schedule of eating. It's like, for breakfast, I eat anything breakfast, um, like eggs, cereal, toast, pancakes, stuff like that. For lunch, I eat anything else, like burgers, um, certain other things I make, like tacos, things, anything I can make that I can eat for later. And dinner is just anything complicated over that, like lasagna, for example. But I don't eat lasagna. I don't eat. I'm unfortunate. It's unfortunate that I, that I can't eat lasagna because we don't have the ingredients for it for now. I, I love lasagna. It's my favorite food ever, or favorite uh, dish food thing. Like, if you just talk about ingredients or things like that, like apples or fruits, that's different. But anyway, let, let's continue. I'm, I'm getting hungry. I'm, I'm, my mouth is watering. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's always food environments and video games that make me hungry. Or anything uh, seen as food on TV, it's like, oh man, I'm hungry. When I played Amazing Spider-Man and they talked about pizza and they actually showed pizza, I was like, oh man, I want pizza. Anyway, here, get comfy. And... Whoops. Watch where you sit. God dang it, Sans. But oddly enough, I'm not sitting on the chair, I'm standing on it. <laughs> Even when I'm standing, I'm technically taller than you. <laughs> Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions, whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I like burgers, so no, uh, I'm gonna get bur a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> is is he combing his hair? Because that's just <laughs> Jesus. So, what do you think? of my brother. Cool, uncool. <laughs> you know what, in, in all honesty, my opinion on Papyrus, I really love the guy, but he's such a nerd and such a narcissist, but I love him. <laughs> so, cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be you'd be cool too if you were, wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that off if he had, absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. I'm not sure how efficient that actually is, washing yourself and your clothes. It'd be hell- like, clothes really take a long time to dry, Jesus. Humans don't dry pretty easily, actually. And that's, you know, because we wipe with other stuff. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I want to say no, just because I know what he's going to do either one. Because either one is actually kind of a nice little thing. Okay, I'm gonna say no and just let it play out, but let me just tell you, if you say yes, you'll pour the ketchup and the lid will come off and it'll just pour out right on top of your uh, burger. Like, oh hey, like, oh you want some ketchup? Okay, you uh, put it down, spills all over like your burger. So, that wouldn't technically ruin it for me, but like, like I know it's like, eh, that, that seems kind of stupid, like, oh man, I'm drenched in ketchup, but eh, that wouldn't bother me too much. But I understand, like, some people wouldn't be okay with that. But I'm gonna say no just to show you what happens when you do say no to his offer. More for me. <laughs> he drank the whole thing. Oh, you're scratching your butt now. <laughs> How do you scratch your bony butt anyway? Like, does that, does that hurt or, like, do you scratch an area? Like, ugh, man, that'd be weird. Ugh. Uh, actually, hold on. I need to go check my sandwich to see if it's done yet. I'll be right back. Get, get over there. Thank you. I miss breakfast too, so I'm having brunch as well. Anyway, um, 
If you hear biting, I'll edit this out, honestly, so you won't hear me. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. That he does. Look how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let her it, let let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Yeah, that's a that's a fair that's a that's a fair reaction. Although I don't understand why he didn't go to her house like around like morning or something. But whatever. Well, the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. I don't blame you. And I don't think that's actually wrong. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about something. Ask you something. Ooh. Ooh. Now it's serious. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? A yellow one or a blue one? <laughs> and I think he's talking about... He, he is talking about someone. He is talking about someone that we know slash something we just saw. So keep that in mind. Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Yeah, that's, that's the talking flower I'm, I'm referring to. And you're referring to. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it back, over and over. What about it? What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using the Neko flower to play a trick on him. Is that or it's a living echo flower, which which could be you know like a yellow daisy of some kind, something with golden petals, a white vase. I don't know that 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 seems like my prediction. But anyway, I could be going crazy. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Okay. Thanks. Well, okay. So that had nothing to do with Flowey. No, n nothing entirely. That was definitely not Flowey's doing. Nothing there. Okay. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Yeah, no. Just kidding. Groby, put it on the tab. Put it on my tab. Man, you really need to pay your tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Well, thanks, Sans. Sans is a sentry, but don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Oh, he's reading car magazines for for Papyrus. Okay, that's pretty cool. Groovy said that your food is probably cold by now. Yeah, I know. Oh man, I wish I could have taken a bite out of it, but no. Mm -hmm. Santa is the most regular regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. Yeah, makes sense, at least for me. Huh? Since when did you and Santa become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. Eh, that's not too... It's not too... He's not too bad. I was hoping Santa came in to give me a pet and... A pat on the head. Interloper? <laughs> I like Santa. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of foods under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. That sounds that sounds that sounds bad in a different way. Sans is interesting. He has told me all kinds of incredible foods, but by his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Ah, oh, uh, uh. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Hey. Eh, you can make your own fun without him. 
Okay, now, now let's get on to Waterfall. Jesus Christ, it's half the episode and it's already done. From what I can tell that what I'm doing is that I'm splitting this up into 40 to 30 minute episodes. And I guess mainly because I talk too much. I don't think people can handle an hour. Plus, I, I really don't want to show an hour of footage of me talking without stuff. It, it doesn't feel right to me, at least. Because, like, I don't have an audience that watches my videos, and I doubt they watch them completely. Without super edits and stuff. It's just gameplay for Undertale for a good amount of the time. So, I'm not gonna, like, waste, like, an hour of footage on one episode if no one's gonna watch it. So, you know, there's that. Let's hang out again sometime. Okay, yeah, you you were fine. You were pretty good. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh, oh. Neat, huh? Oh, I guess you reset after a while, or reset after that. Okay, okay. so that's that's basically what it, it, it did. So that's what it did, basically. That's what he's supposed to do if you talk to him first and the flower. Okay. I'm surprised that when uh, that came back, like that came back in a circle, because I honestly didn't expect that. <laughs> Use the box. Um. Right, I need to put the faded ribbon. Oh wait, no, no. Actually, um, hold up. Uh, faded ribbon info. Armor five. If you're cuter, monsters. All oh, right, uh, I think I already read that. Put on the faded ribbon and read the man read the manly bandana because I did not check that in the like my last episode I wanted to read it but I forgot to put it on and I forgot it was in my inventory so here it is it has seen somewhere it has abs drawn on it <laughs> uh, the manly bandana it's I, I kind of like the thing just because it's like the idea like oh a bandana with uh, um, uh, abs that's funny Okay. Okay, let me check my stats. Okay, tough glove and manly bandana. Eh, like, like I will say, the toy knife and the faded ribbon are the one few, um, one of the few equipment items that make the least amount of sense. Well, it, it's more of that these items are set in pairs. Like the toy knife and the faded ribbon were found in the ruin. You find the tough glove in the first box, and then buy the manly bandana at the store. So these two items usually like usually have a coexistence for each other, like the toy knife and the fade ribbon, the manly bandana and the tough glove. The tough glove and the manly bandana make some sense. The toy ribbon, no, no, the toy knife and the faded ribbon are the ones that make the least sense, at, uh, to me at least, too. Uh, I'm going to put the stick in because I really don't need it. Uh, ice cream. Huh. I could have sworn I bought. Wait, did I? Did I not buy a bicycle? Oh wait, I don't think I did. Crud. Shit. Okay, give me a second. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good. Ooh. The the game has this weird thing where it stops sometimes. It's it's not even that taxing of a game. It looks pretty in certain places, but seriously. Jesus Christ, calm down, game. Okay. I think I either didn't have enough money for one, or I just didn't buy it. Um, uh, I should have done this beforehand. God dang it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway. I, I won't sleep at the end. I'll do that either later, later, or after this, because I'm about to eat. After I finish this episode. Okay. Now. Now we can get going. But yeah. The bicycles are basically a two health. Two in one health item. Where it's like. You eat one. That heals 11 health. And then you can eat the other half of it. Which is another health. So it's a repeating item. That's pretty cool honestly. I like it. Okay. Let's just keep moving on. Anyway. The un the waterfall is a wet uh, floral area. That just basically does all this. Like you know. Hey. Everything's wet, everything is dark, so keep that in mind. I swore I saw something behind that rushing waterfall. Or the rushing, rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Yeah, that isn't good. Or at least it's something that you have to keep in mind. 
And when they say there's something behind the waterfall, they do mean both that and another thing. Hold it. There we go. What's this? There's a tutu line on the ground. Will you take it? Will you take it? Yes. You got an old tutu. Yep. And here's the next set of uh, equipment stuff. Info. Old tutu. Armor 10. Uh, finally, uh, finally, a protective piece of armor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, that's, that's the protective piece of armor. I, I like the manly bandana, but I will put on, but I will put on, like, item pieces just because I want to. Not for better equipment or better, like, stuff, just because either I want to complete the set for this playthrough or just because, well, might as well showcase what they do, anyway. Okay, hold up, put that in, and, uh, I'm fine. I've got an ice cream, I've got cinnamon, and also that's why you gotta be watching for the rocks, because they'll push you down. Oh wait, I, I didn't read that sign, did I? I forgot to. Hold on. Ooh, here it is. This is a box. You can put an item in, or take an item out. Why would you do that, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> oh, man. That, that, that does seem to encapsulate certain uh, people's opinions on certain things. At least on YouTube and YouTube comments. And, oh no. Dramatic lighting. That's never a good sign. I've seen some sh <laughs> I, I do like this lighting effect, honestly. It looks pretty good. It's like, huh, that's very interesting that they do this. And you'll see why they did it in a second. Well, oh, that's, there's an opposing fella. Or, oh, fella. Sorry. <laughs> I, I know I know who it is. I know who it is. I'm just like trying to make a joke. Anyway, hey, hey look, there's papyrus. <laughs> I never thought I'd actually be able to do his voice this quickly. It's been a while. Uh, hi, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Um, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Uh, yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, uh... No, I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. Well, at least I didn't kill you, that, that's one thing. Like, I'm pretty sure she's glad I didn't kill you, like, be like, well, at least he didn't harm you or anything, so anyway. What? Uh, you're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you, you don't have to destroy them, you see, um, you see... Hmm... <sighs> I understand. I'll, I'll help you in any way I can. Well, so much for having Papyrus help us in this situation. Well, we, I guess we better move on. I will say I do like Undyne's both abilities that she has and um, a costume, at least uh, for her armor set. Especially the helmet, I really like that. It looks very intimidating. And there's a reason only one part of it glows, like the right eye only glows. Ooh, that was tense, sort of. Like, I know nothing's gonna happen, but still, it can be tense, pretty much. And, ooh, boy, ooh, boy. But guess what? I wasn't alone there. Yo, did you see that? The way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. Why did... What did you do to get her attention? Uh -huh. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. And that's his thing. He slips and falls on his face. Which is fine. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty nice, actually. Like, a little bit of a comment. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. They will sprout. Okay, all you have to do is pick it up, drop it. Pick it up, drop it. Pick it up, drop it. And pick it up, drop it. I'm wondering how Monster Kid was able to do this, exactly, because I was here and he, he just barely, like, passed me by, so I'm wondering, how the heck did you get here? Aaron flexes in. Okay, this guy is gonna have... This guy is a bit of an issue in terms of two things. 
you don't you can you can't really spare spare him normally you have to do something else to spare him and later on there's a way to get him to be spared in a different way because what I'm talking about like later on you'll see like the way that they showcase how you've spared every monster is through one particular thing that happens at the end and lists all the monsters and shows which ones you helped spare but for this guy his name uh, Aaron yeah Aaron when you when you're when you want to spare him you have to do it in a specific way which is kind of funny and interesting although a little bit obtuse if you really think about it but eh, it's fine Aaron attack and def attack 12 24 defense 12 less I'd expect him to have more defense but eh, I understand why this seahorse has a lot of HP horsepower yeah he does and it appears he is in fact a horse a seahorse although I'm not sure what lower half of a horse he is all of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box no duh check all check all you want winky face he literally does winky face and it's kind of weird Aaron is splashing you playfully Ugh. <laughs> uh, you're weird Shoo, shoo, go away. No, but you have to flex with him. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack creases for you two. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. By the way, that, that's something I do want to mention. He does say flex. Look at all these sexy muscles. <laughs> I can't fit into a vent unlike you stick dudes. <laughs> that's a reference for you. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, he literally says winky face, by the way. Um, you, you'll see what I mean later on, so keep that in mind. And he always winks. You flex. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Increased attack. Okay. Nice. I won't lose to you. At least this is just sweat, I think. I, I hope to God it is sweat. Because that's the least. It might be gross, but it's the least gross out of any other body bodily excretions that can happen. And final flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> You won. You earned no experience, but you did spare him technically, and you had 30 gold. I'm wondering what that sign says. Ooh, ooh, no. Actually, don't. D don't ask what that sign says. Hmm. I will say this song actually reminds me of something. It, like, for some reason, I don't know why, but this part, like, this particular song in Undertale makes me, f or reminds me of, like, um, what's the word? Oh, yeah, uh, Kingdom Hearts. I'm not sure what which place, I, I, I just think it feels like something from Kingdom Hearts. Not saying they took anything, I'm just saying it sounds like it a little bit. Okay, now, the reason why I want to do that, like, to actually make a sign bridge to go this way is because of this. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Leave it. Quiche was left all alone. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Okay. I'll take it. You got the abandoned quiche. Let's see. Abandoned quiche. Abandoned quiche. Heals 34 health. A psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Oh. Huh. I'm wondering whether or not this is the uh, same um, quiche that uh, Sans made. Well, either way, it's a food item that you can use if you want. I, I might just use it just because I want to, but eh. Let's see, what's it say? If an error is made, uh, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Okay, that's basically your thing. It's like, uh, if you want to have to be able to do that. Uh, the way to reset bridge seed is either ring the bell or exit a room. That's basically how those things work. So, if you ever need help doing that, there's your there's your out. There's your two ways of doing it, I guess. Although I'm glad they allow you to have those bridge seats stay there once you enter that particular small room, because I'm not sure what you could have done if you if that wasn't the case. So yeah, these bridge seats need to go into a four in a row to open, and this is like the easiest way to do it. There's another way to do it. It's kind of more complicated. You have to go all the way down here, uh, put them up through uh, one of these places so that way it hits that, and so that way you can go down and, like, you can go down to that second little lip of land and then go up. So, you know, there's two ways of doing that. So there's no wrong way. It's just more, eh, which, what are you going to do? Washua, 
uh, uh, shuffles up. Check. Washable. Attack 15, 5 defense. This humble germaphobe <laughs> seeks to cleanse the world. And not in a good way. Scrub a dub dubs. Yep. Washa was looking for some good, clean fun. Okay, why not clean? You ask Washa to clean you. It hops around excitingly. Green meets clean. Okay, I'll remember that. Okay, good. Whew, smells like detergent. Okay, good. I. Uh, okay. Yep, you won. Yeah, you earned 0 XP and 25 gold. Okay, good. Now let's keep on moving and. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. He hello, this is Papyrus. How'd I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. You could have asked for my number, man. I could have sworn I did give you my number, actually. <laughs> so, uh, what are you wearing? I'm uh, asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Okay, there's two ways that this handles itself, and it's both funny, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just say yes because I'm being true. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Like, that really isn't suspicious. Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your m heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. <sighs> yeah, thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. <sighs> oh, hey. Hey, you guys. I really don't need to deal with you guys. I, I, I kind of forgot that these things were here. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Hmm. Ah, uh, seeing my horoscope is the same as last week's. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to. Yeah, use the things. Check wall. Check wall. Hmm. I will say, despite it being like naturally made, like stuff like this, it looks pretty pretty. Check wall. It's saying to press up and. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what that meant, check wall. Anyway, hold on, I, I have to get, go back and save because I need to both eat and... Yeah, okay, I need to both eat and I also want to just, you know, start up the next episode. So, while I go and do that, I'll see you guys next time for the ne next video. Thanks for watching and, well, we'll continue with Undertale in the next time. So, see y'all until then. Sign armor bots, take care.